How's it going, lads? Natamore here again. Back to another what sold on eBay last week. Uh, this is actually a really good week. Um, sales have been just increasing, increasing. I've been finding pretty decent inventory in places. Um, some local pickups, some other things. Uh, yeah, and I've been also doing a bit more on Amazon lately. I might have to start showing that, but it's not as easy to show. Um, let me guys, let me know if you guys would enjoy that. But for now, let's get into the Amazon stuff, eBay stuff. God, I'm so good. First things first, brand new copy of FIFA 20. I uh, picked this up from a guy from 10 bucks locally. I was going for about 20, 29. I listed it a little bit lower just because I knew it's a sports game. Its value decreases by 5% every day. So um, <clears throat> technically I sold this morning, but it was at like two in the morning. So I packed it before I left. So glad to sell that flip, sell that quick and flip it. So yeah. Next is copy of Street Fighter Alpha 3 for the Dreamcast, disc only. I think I mentioned the last video, but yeah, I got a big bundle of PS1, PS2, and Dreamcast disc only games. Um, it's one of the better ones, $24.99. Uh, tested it, it worked fine. It has some weird ring scratches on it. I'm not sure if the picture showed it well. You can kind of see it there. I pointed at my monitor like that's it help. Um, yeah, you can kind of see it, but it still played fine. So that's good. Um, so this. PS2 uh, Crystal Blue Dual Shock, PlayStation 2 Dual Shock 2 Blue. However you pronounce that, uh, a little dirty. Uh, this I got a pawn shop actually, kind of for free. I bought a few games and some other stuff in this bundle, and he had a bunch of controllers that just piled up that didn't have price tags on. I was like, hey man, I'm buying this. We work on this, and there's a console I picked up too. And he's like, if you buy that console, like for the price on it. I'll give these for free. And the console is a good price anyways. It had two controllers and stuff, so I did that. Got this for free technically. Sold it for $15.99. Not bad. And this is another local bundle I got. I got it was um I sold almost everything uh that I picked up this weekend. So I can kinda of go over it now. Like the only thing this sells, I got two copies of Emerald. Um both of them had the batteries dead. I replaced them. This is the worst condition one, so I priced a little cheaper. Has an acceptable condition, so you know that big rip in the front, but Pokemon people don't really care. It's also like kind of cracked out there, but Pokemon people don't care. They just want to um, play the game, so. Uh, I'm also this copy of Super Mario Bros. Um, got this at the pawn shop as well. I never see any S games in Bose Montana. They just don't show up, so. Kind of bought it, uh, paid five bucks for it, didn't make much for it. I think I actually sold it for $9.99, so I made like 30 cents on it. Not a great buy, but you know, I just, I saw it, I was like, oh, this is cool, I never see these, and, you know, the game's not worth as much as I thought. Um, this type of game, I think it sells better in, like, game shops than it does online. Um, but yeah, still a good find. And it's supposed to copy of Super Mario Maker. Uh, this was one of the last games in the first Wii U lot I got. Um... So, happy this one finally, like, yeah, this last game left from that. So, glad that sold. Had the art book with it, but then have the outer box, I believe, is what this is from. It's like a bigger box bundle. Um, yeah, so it's $17.99. Not bad. Um, this 3DS XL, that was with the two copies of Emerald. Um, paid $95 for the total lot. This sold for $79.99. The first lot, Emerald sold for $50.99. So, already made my money back on those two alone. Um, wasn't in bad condition. It's missing the stylus, but I just found one. I bought like a GameStop pack and picked up some free ones they had, so. Uh, it's definitely going to fit. Didn't have an SD card. I believe I listened to that. Um, yep, no SD card. So, yeah, I got that sold fast. Got the Mario Kart Wii. Two bucks at the pawn shop. I got everything. One of the best deals. Two bucks and a $22.99. Really nice, really fast flip. I love finding Mario Karts that for cheap. And Pokemon White, that's another game that was with the 3DS. Um, that for $28.99, that was a good little chunk of profit on top of it. Um, again, really fast flip. Wii Sports Resort, I also got this copy. It's the pawn shop for two bucks, so another great one to find. Pawn shops don't like that. But like, the one pawn shop they put like Xbox One and PS4 games at 15, but then Wii games in that generation at two. So you can find some good deals if that stuff comes in. It's just, you know, very rare that it does. And you gotta be there like instantly, I feel. 
This uh, Lego Avengers is also with a 3DS. That's the only 3DS game that I had apparently, which is weird. But um, it's also with Emerald copies with a 3DS, but not a regular DS. But you know, extra little drop of profit on top. You know, like I don't know five bucks profit on it. Can't claim. Uh, this copy of Rock Band Country Track Country Track Pack I got from a pawn shop in a big bundle a while ago. I think I paid three bucks for the game. Sold for ten ninety nine. Decent little chunk of change. Um, this is also one of the free controllers in the game that's at the pawn shop. Paid five bucks for the game, and the zapper paid nothing for technically. Uh, sold for seventeen ninety nine. Uh, that's a good way to sell the Mario Bros. Duck Hunt if you, because it doesn't sell for very much on its own. It's you know one of the most common best selling games of all time. So, but with the zapper, it's probably, you know, more common. It might be one of those things you might get more with them bundled than sell them each individually. And save on shipping a little bit too potentially so that was good i was glad i decided to do that uh star wars lego star wars complete saga uh paid five bucks for this at the pawn shop is the only thing i found when i went there hadn't been there for a week and a half so i was hoping to find more and there's some potential stuff but it's like the cheapest i'll go on there at games is four and most other games i've seen would sell for like seven or eight at that point it's just not really worth it like you're making Less than a dollar per game, so this one though, fifteen ninety nine after five. You know, profiting about five, five, ten bucks I guess. So you know, that's that's worth it. Mega Man X four, probably the cheapest game in this uh, disc only bundle I got. So, but it's sold, so helping to recoup the costs. This Nekir Nighthawk. Wi-Fi extender was in a box of free stuff at the local online auction pickup I went to. Um, I was surprised it plugged in, it powered on, it seemed to work from my test, so I took an offer of fifty two ninety nine on it. Um, but when I paid nothing on it, I really can't complain. So that was a nice find. Uh, Samurai Champloo, another one of the disc only games. Um, this came in a case. I don't know why I listed on the picture. Uh, but yeah, twenty ninety nine. One of the better games in that lot. This uh, VHS DVD combo unit. I actually this is the second time I sold this one. The first time the buyer was kind of upset because the VHS wouldn't play out of the component inputs. That's not something these do. Most at least every VHS player I've found says that's for DVD only. I told them like yeah like did like the VHS only comes out of the composite the as feeling component, the DVD, DVD can come out of and not the VHS. And he's like, well, then it doesn't work, so I'll return it. I have free return, so I couldn't deny it, but it's kind of kind of upsetting. He also didn't return the video cable, so I had to use another one of those, which that's a little rude. Like, if you're not going to use that cable, clearly, because you need a component, then why keep it? It's silly. Uh, some of the Wii. Um, this I got... Uh, I think I paid 20 bucks for it. It was not a great purchase. I only made like $5 after the sale. Uh, Wii's got by really cheap or with a lot of stuff to make it worth it. And this just came with the Wii and controllers, no games or anything missing the door. So I'm going to try to avoid that from now on. It was just like a big bundle of stuff. And that's what I priced out to be. Like the Wii would cost about 20 So not great. Uh, Time Players 2, another loose disc, twelve ninety nine. Not bad for that one. Uh, so one of these homework remotes, I got these in some billings last weekend on Saturday, just at the first Goodwill. Um, paid a dollar for it, or 90 cents, sold it for seventeen ninety nine. I sold the other one today as well, so, because yeah, I got two of these, so I'm happy with that. Really nice profit on those. Uh, Gundam Battle Assault 2, uh, another loose disc one. This one I made, you know, a little above average for what the games were, like, were selling about, so... Happy that one's gone. And Clono 2, another one of the better ones. Uh, $21.99. Um, I can't remember if this one was lightly scratched or not, but I'd put it as acceptable, so. Uh, this Epsilon Scanner, um, this was at Goodwill for $5. I tested it, it worked fine. It sold for $42.99. Um, shipped not too bad. It's actually pretty cheap and not too heavy, so. That was a nice little find. I'll keep my eye out for scanners because apparently those can be worth a little something. You know, people in offices need them and stuff. And I started their own business or things like that. But 
yeah didn't wasn't a quick flip probably sound this for about a month but still sitting on a month to make about 35 bucks that's not bad and then the first wii u i've had finally sold um this i sent an offer out for 94.99 which was probably a little bit too low um it sold so i got the money back but i kind of like lost i still broke even on a lot but i didn't break even as much as hoping for like uh i was kind of needed this to sell for over 100 to make okay money and it sold for a lot of that so not bad but i shouldn't be so aggressive with my best offers i guess um actually no this is the second wii u i sold i sold the white one a while ago anyways this is the first wii u i picked up and yeah it sold this actually got online from mercari actually um it was a wii u bundle i thought i might make money on and i keep like doing this where i see things online and i see like i'm buying it for this much and i'll sell it for this after fees but i'm not calculating the shipping costs of every individual item that you know and adds up a lot so i need to be more careful to buy this didn't I still made money, but not as much as I was hoping for. Uh, same thing. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. This is the best uh, disc game in that lot. $59.99. Pretty uncommon game on PS2 and Xbox, I believe. So definitely one to keep your eyes out for, disc only or complete. Um, yeah, it, someone actually bought it, didn't pay, opened an item case, got it relisted, and then it sold immediately again. So it's it's highly desirable too. Um, these, I got these two Lego games from some bundle a while ago, and with cheaper games, I generally bundle them up in like sets of five at least to sell. And these, I just, um, well, the two of them, so I just kind of set them aside and forgot about them. I didn't realize, like, well, this is the, like, complete set technically of these on DS, so probably be worth selling them together. And yeah, it did. They were worth about uh, uh, like six a piece, but together sold for seventeen ninety nine, so not bad. Uh, Inuyash, Inuyasha Feudal Combat, uh, another one, disc only one, lower end price one eleven ninety nine, not bad. Um, this Barbie Twilight doll I found at Goodwill. It was um, in the box. It's on President's Day actually, so everything was half off. I think I only paid two fifty for it. I still lost money on it, man. It was a weird shape. I didn't have a great box to ship it in, and yeah, the shipping cost ten bucks on it. So, um, after that and fees, it, I, I still think I lost money on this. Yeah, like, a, like fifty cents maybe, but not great. Actually, I feel like I'm wrong about that now, but. No, no, yeah, I still lost 30 cents on it. Oh, yeah, because I took a best offer of 14. That's right. That's what happened. So, yeah, so taking that best offer dropped me out of the profit. Should have just probably held on to it for a bit longer. Uh, Fable 2, this came in a, one of those Belgrade online auction lots I got. Um, had, like, maybe 10 cents into this. Sold for five ninety nine. Not great, but, you know, happy with it. This uh, Magnavox... VCR. I think I. Oh, sorry. I think I took a best offer of fifty on this. Yep. Yeah. Uh, still made twenty five bucks on it. I only paid five at Goodwill. I think so. Not bad profit. Had the remote and everything. Um. Yeah. These tend to be still great money if you can find them for a good price. Um. But the Masters Tiger Woods PGA Tour Twelve from PS Three. Um. This I got a local deal. It's a PlayStation 3 with a uh, move controller and camera and um, five games. Uh, so so selling the games on eBay, the PlayStation's going to Amazon. Um, yeah, I should make decent money in the lot. This actually sold for more than I thought it would because it's not for resale. I don't think that really increases the value of this that much, but you know, price starting out this game at 450 sold for 7.99, so might help the value a tiny bit. Um, Alice Madness Returns. This I took a best offer on, I believe. Um, had this from a while ago, like, bef 
of January, I think, is when I got this. Uh, came with a bundle of two 360s and some other stuff. Um, probably like what, a more uncommon game, like 28 bucks for uh, 360 games, pretty good. Um, I think I actually took it best off for 25, but still 25 bucks for a 360 game, not bad. This iPod Touch or iPod Nano, um, I bought it at a pop up like indoor garage sale. Um, turned out the power button was broken on it, so I overpaid for it. Um, lost money on it, at least sold for 15, not 24. Um, so yeah, not a not a great buy. Up that double quick as well. Uh, Xeno Saga, episode one, another one of the RPGs in the lots. Lower end one, $8.99. Uh, Dragon Ball Buzi Budokai Tenkaichi. Um, I think I took the best offer of $9.99 of this. Or $9. But I only paid a dollar for it, so still made good money for it. Happy with that. I think Tenkaichi 3 is worth a lot, 2 is worth a little, and 1 is worth some. But, you know, if you buy something for a dollar, it's pretty, pretty easy to make some money on it. Uh, Persona 4 Golden. Um, I got this at a pawn shop for $19, I believe, or $20. Um, sold for $29.99, so only made about like 5 bucks on it, but it was a very fast flip. So kind of bought it, put it up, sold like the next, in like two days. So uh, happy with that. Yeah. It made like 4 bucks. Not great. Uh, Crash Twin Sanity. This and again, one of the little random ones from this uh, big PS2, PS1, Dreamcast lot. Um, this one bought from the UK at first, and then when they realized what international shipping costs, they wanted to cancel. So that's it's fine, but someone else bought it locally in the US. Um, this Epson printer ink, uh, I found this at a thrift store for a dollar, and it sold the second I posted it for $24.99. Um, so I might be able to get a bit more for it, but I'm happy to pay dollar and make twenty five, sell for twenty five. Like, that's great profit. I'm not don't need any more than that. That's really great. Sealed ink is like generally worth it. It's always worth looking up because eight times out of ten, I'd say it's worth it. Depending on how ex old it is, how expired it is, might not be, but in general, look it up. Uh, Toshiba remote. I think I also paid a dollar for this in Billings, sold for fourteen ninety nine. Really good. Uh, copy of Crimson Skies. This came. I can't remember. I picked up. I got one of these in a lot, and one I got at Goodwill. I think this might have been a copy I got at Goodwill. Um, it's not worth a lot. Five ninety nine. It's one of those games that everyone who had an original Xbox back in the day talks about and says they enjoy but it's not very sought after not very uncommon so um probably worth passing this up unless you're getting it for like 50 cents and another printer ink that's sold uh, I think I sent a best offer of $16.99 on this one this tricolor box I hate these packages so much HP like this is all the ink and then all this is that wasted packaging it makes it so awkward to ship and it's such a waste of like money but I don't know. Still paid five bucks for it, sold for $16.99, made good money. And this copy of Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, this I got Goodwill for two seventy, dollars um, sold for $7.99, not a great flip, but quick mover, happy with that. Uh, copy of Need for Speed Shift, um, this I got at the pawn shop for three or four dollars, can't remember, sold for $8.99, I still have one left I think, yeah. Um, those Need for Speed games are kind of worth it if you get them at cheap prices. They sell relatively quickly. I think I've only had this one for maybe three weeks at the most. Um, and yeah. Not bad. So this Xbox Logitech wireless controller without the receiver. This also came in just a random lot at the Belgrade online auction. So there's stuff piled up together. Um, had like maybe a dollar into this at the most. Sold for $19.99. Happy with that. Copy of FIFA 64 on N64. Um, uh, not a very valuable game. Sold for 6.49. This is was just this was in the bundle. It was like maybe 50 cents into it. One from the Belgrade Online Auctions website. So 
Not bad. Make a little bit, recoup my costs with that a little bit. And so let's set a five Famicom games. Um, these I got when I ordered my RGB Famicom on eBay. Uh, it had that just had the system, the controller, the um, NES cart adapter, which is nice. Um, and then these are just kind of thrown in. I'm not really wanting to play imports. I really like, even if it's like a game I don't need to understand in my language, I'd rather just have it in my language. Just because like I can't tell what like half these games are. So I just sold them in a lot for eight plus shipping. Uh, not bad. And finally, the last thing I sold this week is a copy of Rock Band 3. I got this in Billings as well. Paid five bucks for it, $18.99. Um, probably the only Rock Band game that's worth it, unless you're bundling it on Amazon with the stuff, and even then, it's a pain to ship that stuff in. But yeah, Rock Band 3, keep your eye out for that. It's not the game you think is worth a lot, but it's worth about 20 bucks. Alrighty, and that is everything I sold this weekend on eBay. Pretty good week again. My sales are keep growing and growing each month, each week it seems like, so I'm kind of worried I'm gonna start like not having a good inventory to list, but I do have some backup stuff, like stuff in my collection I am willing to get rid of that like, if I move I'm gonna get rid of I think, so I have that piled up in case I decide to run out of inventory, I can start listing that, but anyways, I'm gonna get back to working on some other Amazon, eBay stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, sure to leave a like if you did, if not, let me know why in the comments down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe, I upload these every week, and I might add some other content eventually. We'll see. And yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.